Hey Puckle Buns, welcome back. This is Roxy Bun, and this is my part, I believe, I want to say, 9 or 10, 10 of Dream Daddy, and we will be going on Joseph's route this time. Voted Maple Bay's number one youth minister for five years running, living in my hometown with my beautiful wife and our four amazing kids. If I'm not in church, you can catch me out on the open water, setting sail on the seas for adventure. I love playing guitar and crushing my kids at Candyland. Okay, pretty wholesome. On a Friday night, you're likely to lead the community in a fun mixer. And if you had one thing to take on a desert island, it would be my sixth string. <laughs> My turn-ons are my loving wife. What did you want to be when you grew up? A ship captain. And his favorite movies are feel-good movies. His family's a little weird, but Joseph seems cool. I should take him up on his offer to hang out. Wait, how do I hang out with a priest? I don't go to church. Should I be Jesus-y? No. That's like being so stereotypical. That would piss anybody off, I think. I imagine his family staring at me as I fumble through some sort of prayer attempt. Maybe not too Jesus-y. A light smattering of Jesus. <laughs> Will he want me to pray? Is he going to pray at me? Do I have to pray at him? That's not really how it works. My mom was religious and that's definitely not how it works. Talking to Joseph, huh? God. Amanda, how many times have I told you not to sneak up on me like that? I selectively ignore it every time you do, Pops. Her eyes are a little puffy, almost as if she'd been crying. Hey, are you doing okay there, kiddo? I'm fine. Oh, I just started thinking about how there are a bunch of people who still don't think aliens exist. And it's bumming me out. Yeah, right. Like, space is out so infinitely huge just because you can't conceive it. it doesn't mean it can't exist. I understand the Fermi Paradox, but to completely write off aliens? There's so much stuff we just don't know. I'll be ah. okay. I'm glad. But ah. aliens are definitely out there, and I hope they'll one day be my friends. Remember how you used to be afraid of aliens? <laughs> yeah, but whose fault was it that I watched Fire in the Sky when I was five? Amanda, you stole that VHS from my closet and locked yourself in your room to watch it. I honestly forgot about that part of the story. Of course you did, because of course you did. Wow, I really brought all those years of anxiety over being abducted by aliens and myself, huh? Yeah, you did. <laughs> I pat Amanda on the back. And now you want your new best friend to be an alien. Look at that personal progress. You're really growing as a person. But seriously, you know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah, that's why I'm talking about aliens with you. Okay, just remember that it's okay to be sad. And also remember that I love you very much. And only want what's best for you. That's all. Oh. Alright, alright, jeez, don't make me cry again. Yeah, we have this conversation all the time. In different uh, variations. The other time it was about a cute dog, and now this is about aliens. Joseph can't read your mind, you know. If you want to talk, just message him. But I've never been friends with a priest before. What do I talk about? My favorite Bible pa passages? Ice cream socials? Khakis? No. No, that's that's not what you do. That's the complete opposite of what you do, man. First of all, he's a youth minister with a tattoo, not a priest. There's a difference? Um, yes, there is. <laughs> You're overthinking Aww. it, Dad. Listen, just put it like this. Uh. Hello, neighbor. Thanks again for the invite to the barbecue. I'd love to hang out soon if you're not too busy. Isn't that a little too business casual? Fine, mm. fine. Give me the keyboard. I got this. Amanda focuses on the keys. Hi, Joseph. It was great meeting you and your family. I'm still new around here, so if you'd like, I'd love to hang out and get to know you. See ya. Smiley face. The smiley is a nice touch. Almost immediately, I receive a response. What do you say? Hiya, Chicago. If you're not doing anything in a bit, the kids and I are baking treats for the church bake sale today, and we'd love to have you over. It'll be a blast. Let me know. Huh. That wasn't so bad. He uses a lot of exclamation points. I'm more mm -hmm. concerned about him signing his name to Tilda, that little squiggly do. I'm willing to let it slide this time. I respond uh. back. 
Sounds like fun. Yoshikage with with the tilde. <laughs> well, we guess I'm doing this. Save a brownie for me. Promise you won't sneak up on me anymore. Man just hmm. stares at me, unblinking. I don't make promises I can't keep. Real to a fault, Pops. And Dad, Ugh. please don't be weird about the religion thing. Me? Weird? Never. I make the short walk over to his place. Don't be weird, Yoshikage. But what if they hang up a bunch of crosses and collect those little porcelain babies? What if they're all praying? Do they pray before dinner? During dinner over the porcelain babies? Oh jeez, this is like too much. Way too much. Come on now, slow down. The door begins to creak open, the shadowy figure obscured on the other side. Who's there? Um, Yoshikage. Your neighbor. The door opens up the rest of the way. It's Joseph's eldest. What's his name? Hey. Hey, um... It's... Christian. It's Cri- Ah, fuck. It's Chris. Chris, right? Hi again. It's, uh, I'm Yoshikage. I know what your name is. Oh yeah, we met at the barbecue. How's the, um... Please don't say it. Jesus. Oh, you retard. <laughs> he blinks slowly. Maybe he didn't hear that. You're weird. Is your dad... Before I finish, he walks into an adjacent room, leaving me in front of the open doorway. Home? This is a great first impression. For a moment, I wonder if I should just go in, further subjecting his family to my winning attitude and artful charisma. And big, fat fucking mouth. Mercifully, he peeks his head around the corner. Yoshikage hmm. made it. Joseph approaches me with his arms wide. You want a hug? I'll give you a hug. I'm so glad you can come by. You're ready to bake? I am not. I'm as ready as I'll ever be, which is not. That's kind of semi-confidence I like to see in a baking assistant. <laughs> come on in. Joseph leads me into a bright, spacious home full of nautical knickknacks. This isn't what I imagined at all. It's actually pretty charming. I believe you met Chris, who left you outside. Chris. <laughs> hmm? Are you going to apologize? Oh, right. Sorry. You little asshole. I try to make eye contact him, but he keeps looking away. He must be shy. He ain't shy. He's just a dick. <laughs> it's all right. Next time, just be a little bit more inviting to our guests, okay? Sure. You're gonna grow up to be fun as a teenager, aren't you? He seems to relish the chance to escape the conversation and quickly vanishes into his room. Joseph turns to me apologetically. Don't take it personally. He likes to keep to himself. I mean, we didn't start off on the best foot in the world, plus being the eldest in a big family can't be easy. We try to come a little slack where we can. You know, I'm also the oldest in my family, and I know how that is. Yeah, it sucks sometimes. <laughs> oh, and here are the twins. Christian, Christy, say hello to Yoshikage. Hello, father. Hello, Yoshikage. Kids, come on, dial it back on the creepy twin shtick. Creepy twin shtick? Egg them on. Me to say, come play with us, Danny. <laughs> oh, no. The twins stare up in unblinking unison. Come play with us, Danny. Joseph covers his mouth and looks away, but he's clearly holding back a big laugh. This is it. This is my dad world series. Okay, now say, please help us, Mothra. Please help us, Mothra. <laughs> no, I, I can't take it. Joseph's trying his best not to break in front of the kids. The twins seem to be catching on and look eager to bust their dad. But can we keep it up? Let's go with something obscure. Now say, he who walks behind the rose. The twins tilt their head in confusion. Uh-oh. He who... he... walks? He who... behind... some rose. The room is silent besides Joseph absolutely losing his mind. That last flub really sealed it. <laughs> Children of the corn? Really? <laughs> Is that not mainstream? I'm off my game something fierce today. Great job, guys. We're scary. 
I was very scared. Joseph can't take it anymore, but despite his quiet protestations, he's laughing pretty hard into his hand and the kids giggle with him. The twins, obviously pleased with the new arsenal of spooky weapons, leave the room to terrorize the rest of the community. My work here is done. Yes. I'm going to be hearing those lines for weeks. Next time we hang out, I'll try to teach them some lines from the thing. Oh. All right, so it looks like we've got a bit of a troublemaker on our hands. Do you think I can tr trouble a career pro? I don't know about that. Oh, cracker barrels. Cracker barrels? <laughs> I'm suddenly interrupted by a loud crash from the kitchen. What now? Mm. That doesn't sound good. Uh, Christy. No one responds. He furrows his brow and motions for me to stay where I am. Uh. Wait here a minute. Joseph rushes into the kitchen. I remember this with Amanda. Half her fatherhood is trying to keep her kids from finding creative ways to kill themselves, and he's got four. Talk about worry. I take a seat on his surprisingly pristine couch and twiddle my thumbs. Examine bookshelf. It's a pretty sturdy wooden bookshelf. It looks handmade. Did Joseph build this? There's a big stack that looks like travel magazines. Hyenas of the Serengeti, the underwater mysteries of the Antarctic, and on and on and on. Seems like Joseph really loves a good adventure, unless this is a merry thing. Who knows? Next to them are a couple of different Bibles. Look he's covering all the Bible bases. King James, New American Standard, the Bible for Teens. He is a cool youth minister, after all. On a higher shelf, there are a bunch of old romance novels. Judging by the wine stains, these must be Mary's. The newest one looks like Hot Body Johnson. Sex Detective. Oh my god, you have that out here where the kids can get to it or see it? The eighth installment in- wait, this is a series? Examine coffee table. There's a couple of cool knickknacks on the coffee table in front of me. Hey, a cross. Oh, go figure. Hey, another cross. This one's a little different. And a third cross. A unified design aesthetic. Smart choices. There's also a brass thing here. It looks like something a sailor would use to navigate with. I think they're called sextants. <laughs> Sex. <laughs> of course you're laughing at that. Examine floor. Well, we have this many kids and things are bound to end up on the floor no matter how hard you try to keep it clean. I spot a terrifying cloth doll that appears to have had both arms pulled off several times. It's been stitched back together a lot. The tag says CNC. Of course, it's the twins. They're a creepy doll. I set that down and spot a houseplant. Hey, little guy. Keep being you, tiny houseplant. I spot one last thing on the floor next to the houseplant a silver necklace. Wow, this looks expensive for something casually tossed on the floor. If there's a story here, it's none of my business. It's been a while. I guess I should go in the kitchen and see what's up. <laughs> I walk into the kitchen to find Joseph holding Christy in one arm. She seems a lot calmer than she was a minute ago, because she's by herself. I raise an eyebrow at Joseph. <laughs> the twins are a lot more manageable when they're separated. Where's Christian? Oh. He ran off. <laughs> Christy dips a spoon into the brownie batter and gives it a taste. Dad, it's too sweet. Oh. You're too sweet. Aw, oh, no I'm not. Hmm. You're so sweet when I have to water you down with spiders. No, not spiders. Joseph begins tickling Christy with his free hand. <laughs> Between the laughing and squirming, I don't know how he's got a hold of her, but that girl is locked in place. The man is a professional child wrangler. Christy fixes me with her best puppy dog eyes. Mm. Save me from the spiders. Spider spoon duel the spider king. I grab a wooden spoon and point it in Joseph's direction. Unhand her, foul beast. Okay, Yoshikage the Valiant, let's see what you've got. You may have defeated me at Tarantula Ridge, but now I have the upper hand. Joseph gently puts Christy down behind him. Oh. Have you come to squash me, Knight, or have you merely fallen into my web? I'm no mere fly, Spider King. Now on guard. For a minute or so, we mocked duel with the two dumbest looking spoons in the room. Eventually, I strike a killing blow in the invisible heart between his arm and his body, and Joseph recoils in horror. Oh, but I, I am defeated. <sighs> you can never best me, Spider King, for I have the power of... <laughs> I sneak a taste from the brownie batter. The magic... Oh man, that is way, that is way too sweet. Yeah. Christy begins jumping up and down excitedly. <laughs> My hero! Oh, you're so cute. 
Christy hugs my leg before making a surprisingly fast exit. That was adorable. Oh. Hey, wait, don't you want to bake brownies with us? Christy hesitates and shakes her head no again. Sparkle Pony. <laughs> Sparkle Pony? Joseph looks confused. Mm. You don't want to bake with Dad now? You want to play with Sparkle Pony? Yes. <sighs> okay, go. And she's gone. Before Joseph can even finish his sentence, she's out the door and down the hall. Ahead. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Joseph sighs deeply as he stares into the chocolate batter. He tastes it again, face twisting. <laughs> and that is still way too sweet. So what made that crash? Oh. Egg beaters on linoleum floor. Oh. It's my new techno single. Still haven't thought of a B-side. Now we're both looking into the batter. It's got a sickly sheen of sugar and chocolate candies throughout. I have a feeling Christy had something to do with this. Yeah. We need a fresh start. Oh, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not really a baker, but... Excellent. Don't even sweat it. The bag came with instructions that have mysteriously vanished along with my daughter. So we'll probably be fine. Probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. He certainly looks confident. Alright, Yoshikage, you've baked a cake from a box before, once. How hard can it be? Ooh. Now grab a spoon and get ready to rock. Mario Batali, save me. Joseph and I set to work cracking the eggs and mixing the things and then pouring the things according to how we assume the back of the box would tell us to. Things go according to plan, assuming enough we have a solid batch of brownies. Oh. <sighs> Wait. Joseph has a little dot of batter on his nose. Oh. Wow, Yoshikaga, way to use those dad skills. I bet you baked a few box mixes in your time. His nose. Joseph, your nose is dirty. Oh. All we have to do is bring this to the bake sale and voila, duty done. <clears throat> oh. Now help me find Christy. Keep your out for a pony that sparkles. Joseph, hold still. Uh. What? Thumb in position and got it. Hi. Joseph, I, Joseph's eyes go wide as I gently wipe the chocolate off his nose. Is he blushing? I'm making you blush. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the, thanks. No problem. In less than a second, I've licked the batter off my finger. It's a really good batter. Ooh, uh... We, um, <laughs> we should find Christy. Mm. Yes, yes, we should. Do that. Yoshikage. Joseph quickly composes himself. Mm. All right, she can't be far. You take the delta position, and I'll watch your six. Do you even know what that means? Yeah. Alpha Tangled Sparkle. Roger, roger. <laughs> he starts making his way down the hall and calls back to me. Take the brownies and the rest of the stuff I baked earlier today when I get Christy. I'll meet you up out the car. Uh. Joseph, Christy, and I arrive at the church parking lot to find fold-out tables and pop-up tents already set up. Looks like the bake sale is already in full swing. Oh. Wow, this place is packed. Is this... packed? There are a few people milling around. Must be a value pack. <laughs> <laughs> if you can count a city's population on your fingers and toes, this counts as packed. Point. Christy rockets out of the car and into the lot. Is she running on jet fuel? No, she's running on sugar, which is pretty much the same thing for a child. I want to sell brownies. Oh. Okay, okay, let's get set up. I want to see Mom. Hi. She's down by the other row of tables helping out with another group. Want to go over there and tell her I said hi? Mom! She zips off immediately. Joseph seems unconcerned. Does she always run that fast? Hey. <laughs> yeah, and I can only catch her half the time. These knees aren't what they used to be. I remember when Amanda was her age. I couldn't get her to sit still for five seconds. <laughs> yep, <laughs> great age to deal with. Oh, yeah. While Christy's gone, Joseph and I arrange all of our baked goods on the table and settle in. So, are we allowed to eat any of our own goods? Oh. Look, if I don't see nothing, I don't say nothing. The man upstairs has strong feelings about snitches. Does it hurt he actually? Hey. He shrugs. He needs a brownie. <laughs> it looks like some of the other stalls are selling drinks, little handmade crafts, and other sweets. Whoa, someone brought a soft serve ice cream machine. I gesture to it. How are we supposed to compete with that? Hmm. Huh, please, this isn't my first time to the rodeo. The bake sale rodeo. There's actually no rodeo here. It's just a bake sale, you dork. 
<laughs> I think you and I put together can make one pretty convincing argument for these brownies, don't you? Oh yeah. <laughs> we high five. If you bake it, they will come. Hey. It's not long before we have our first customers. Hey, hey dude. Hiya. Matt and Carmen Sina great to see you guys out here. You know, I've never seen his daughter before, but here she is, and she's fucking adorable. So cute! Everybody's children are so cute in this game. Oh. Happy to support a good cause. Plus, you know, as the owner and proprietor of the Coffee Spoon, an establishment that specializes in baked goods, I have to scope out the competition. Joseph leans close to me. Uh. This guy knows his stuff. Stay on your toes. Hmm. So, what recipe did you use for these brownies? Don't say you used the box recipe. We improvised. We, I just let the baking spirit move through me, you know? A little bit of flour here, a pinch of salt there. It's sort of like an interpretive dance, but with cooking. <laughs> interpretive cooking, yes. You can never make the same thing twice. Every batch is special. There will never be another batch of brownies with the exact flavor sensation that these right here have. Hmm. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity, Matt. Hey. All right, all right, we'll take two. Actually, we'll take three. I ring them up and high five Joseph as our happy customers walk away. Oh. See, not so hard. Yeah, I'm hot off the good feelings from the last sale. Who's next? We sell brownies to a bunch of people I don't recognize, but who clearly know Joseph. Eventually, another familiar face pops up. Yoshikage, are you here to one-up me? Of course you are. It's Brian. Oh. Close enough. Can we interest you two in any of our fine sweets and treats? Oh. You sure can. I bet I could eat ten brownies. Must resist urge to be competitive. Let the man buy his brownies. Someone will put you down for ten? Uh -huh. <laughs> Better make it just two. One for me and one for Daisy. <laughs> Coming right up. You excited for Youth Group Movie Night, Daisy? Yep, what's the movie? <laughs> it's a surprise. Joseph leans over to me. Hey. It's the Fast and the Furious. Really? I like that movie, actually. I've seen all the mo all eight of them so far. Aye. If you think about it, there's some heavy religious undertones. Joseph hands a baggie to Daisy. Oh. I made sure to give you guys the edges. <laughs> Clearly the superior found of the brownie for typography. Thank you. Our two customers walk off with their purchases. Joseph and I survey our stock. Oh. These are selling pretty hot. This street will have enough money to pay a new paint job pay for a new paint job on the church pews in no time. Wait, what happened to the pews? Yeah. Ernest spray painted his rapper alias onto them. Young Steinbeck. I would have gone for young man in the sea, but I can respect that. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking in ministerial terms, uh, Ernest is uh hard to reach. In father terms, he's kind of a turd. Being a cool youth minister seems like a lot of work. Hey. It is, but it's worth it. <laughs> Although, sometimes I wish... Hmm. Never mind. Oh, come on, What's what do you wish? It's kind of silly, but... You ever wish you could just drop everything and go lounge around on a beach somewhere in the tropics? Drink fruity blended beverages, fall asleep on a hammock? You know, basically live out a Jimmy Buffett song. Joseph. I think about this every single day of my life. I think everybody does at one point. My dream is to live in Margaritaville. <laughs> Wasted away again in Margaritaville. <laughs> one day, my friend, one day we'll be on island time. We make a couple more sales to some more church patrons. Everything seems to be going smoothly. Off in the distance, I spot my old buddy Craig. <laughs> hey, Craig, bruh. Yeah. He's gonna be a hard sell. He's a fitness man. I think he comes to these bake sales to test himself. To see if he has the resolve to refuse processed sugar. Mm. Are you sure you're ready for this? We go way back. I got this. <laughs> he jogs up to our table with Briar and Hazel. They're each finishing an ice cream cone, so it's unlikely we're gonna sell them on brownies, too. Probably won't be able to sell the baby. She's impossible to read. It all comes down to Craig. Oh. Hey, bros. Hi, Uncle Joseph. Hi, Amanda's dad. Would you be interested in one of our delicious homemade brownies? Huh, I don't know. <laughs> Not tempting. How about, remember that one time? Hey, Craig, when we were freshmen, remember how our next-door neighbors pranked us by switching out our laundry detergent with dish soap? 
and how the washing machine exploded with suds. And then we decided to get back at them by baking brownies for them, but sprinkling high-intensity hot sauce into the mix, and then we watched them cry after eating it. Haha, <laughs> I would feel bad, but we had to clean up the laundry room ourselves. Anyway, these brownies are like that, but without the hot sauce. Maybe you should get one more? For old time's sake. Oh. Craig thinks for a second. Hmm. Well, the girls just won a game. Hmm. You know what? We'll take one for each of us. Hey. Even River? Hmm. I'll eat hers. Oh. oh, you've got yourself a deal. The day winds down and we're pretty much out of items to sell. Everyone starts packing up. Christy eventually comes back and immediately falls asleep in Joseph's folding chair. So cute. So pure. So small. Box mix, huh? Give it a rest. <laughs> Mary <laughs> saunters up to us. She looks like she'd rather be anywhere else than here. Ooh. Oh, hi, honey. Yep, they're selling like hotcakes. Which is, actually, they're just brownies. <sighs> Cute. <sighs> and boring and safe. Um, hey, Mary. Mary's eyes dart over to me. <sighs> What's the rookie doing here? Oh. I was just hoping to introduce him to the rest of the community. Ah. Uh huh. You get a load of this freak show? What? Mm. Weird folk is all holier than thou types. Well, you married one. Hey. Don't you think, Yoshikage? Ugh. Mary. Ugh. I think I can answer the question. Um. They seem nice. They, uh. They all seem like they're really excited to help out the church. That's pretty cool. I guess. Hmm. Mm. Mary, can we talk about this later? Ugh. Oh, am I embarrassing you in front of your new friend? Joseph doesn't respond, trying his hardest to keep his cool. Hmm. Can we please talk about this later? Oh my gosh. Oh, sure thing, honey bear. Ah. Mary turns her attention to me. Hand over the cash. Um, what? Ah. <sighs> Jesus, I'm not trying to rob you. I'm in charge of the funds here. I hand over the cash we've made. It feels like a hefty wad if I say so myself. Mm. Thanks. Hey. Now give me your wallet. What? Oh, she's messing with me. She's messing with me. She likes to do that. Uh? Give me your wallet. You think this church is going to fix itself? Mm. Mary? Uh? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Sorry. I'll work on the whole pretending to be happy thing. Mary leans in and whispers to me. Uh? He's really good at it. Oh. Mary walks off without saying goodbye. Yee, she's a bitch. My God, <laughs> to her husband anyway. Um, I'm really sorry about that. Are you okay? She really likes pushing your buttons, huh? Yeah. He shrugs. Mm. No marriage is perfect. Oh. You ready to head out? Joseph and I load the folding tables back into my car. Christy nods off the moment Joseph straps her into the car seat. Oh. I drop Joseph off in front of his house. A small yawn sneaks out of me. A small yawn sneaks out of me. Oh boy, I can't read. <laughs> Looks like I tuckered you out, huh? I'm a sleepy dad. I think I might finally be crashing from all the sugar. Oh. Huh, I won't keep you up, Ben. <laughs> Thanks for helping out today. Happy to do it. Also happy to eat brownies. Oh. Well, next time. I promise we'll do something a bit more exciting with a bit less free labor. And I'm very sorry about the whole thing with Mary. You shouldn't have had to see that. It's fine, really. Yeah. I know, but first, hangout domestic programs aren't a good look. Eh. Let me make it up to you next time. It won't be Margaritaville, but we'll do something fun. Promise. I smile. I'd like that. Eh. Oh, and one last thing. Joseph tosses a clean wrapped brownie through the window. It hits me in the face, but I'm able to catch it. Yeah. It's the last one. You earned it. Joseph, please don't leave me alone with this brownie. Nope, too late. I'm already walking away. But, <laughs> uh, bye! Uh. <laughs> Joseph walks up to his home. He waves at me before carrying Christy inside. Well, looks like it's just you and me, Brownie. Save the Brownie for later. I pocket the Brownie. This might come in handy down the road. Oh. I step inside to find Amanda doing homework on the couch. Uh. Hey, father unit. Hi, child that I'm required by law to care for. How's homework? It's really fun and educational. Yeah, bullshit, kid. Really? Uh, how long have you known me for? Right. Mm -hmm. How was bake sale? Good, I think I really could have made a good life for myself as a brownie salesman. Huh. Glad to hear it. Uh. So, 
So what? Hmm. Were there any extra brownies, or did you maybe sneak one, or... I think for a moment and realize that I still have the brownie that he gave me. This would probably do better in her stomach than mine. Heads up. Huh? Wait. I hurl the brownie towards Amanda and it hits the wall behind her and falls on the ground. Ah. Nice throw. Huh. She scoops it up and smiles at me. <laughs> Thanks, Pops. Huh. Hey, if you're not going to bed anytime soon, would you be game for some real shark hunters in Verge County? I thought the last hunter got eaten by a shark. Hmm. He did. I sit down next to her and cozy up with the blanket. Oh, so precious. Awesome. Let's see how I did. Come on, S ranking. Hell yeah. As I'm awesome. <laughs> never had that much fun in my life. <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you. Yes, Thank it you. was awesome, because I got a fucking S. Onward. Alright, this is going to be the end of part 10. We got our first date with Joseph done, and we got an S ranking. Let's go for two more S's. That's my new goal in this game, is to be... Not get straight A's, get straight S's. <laughs> so, if you like this video, if you like this series, hop on over to that like button, give it a bunny nudge for me. And if you want to see more, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.